Hi everyone, today we are going to look at how to uh, render this uh, glass uh, so that it looks like a transparent glass material. Okay, so we are going to add textures to our scene and render this scene so it looks like a glass. The first thing you're going to do is create our scene. Uh, this uh, project was created uh, as part of 3D modeling course. So if you don't have this glass, you can just use a teapot as an example. Okay, so we can model a teapot and a glass. We'll create a plane first. And I'll zoom out so the plane is uh, quite big. And then we have to make sure that the glass is on the Now plane, it's not hanging. Teapot looks fine. I think that the base is little narrow, so I'll just drag it to make it a little big. Okay. Then we need also a wall, so I'll create a plane in the front view. Okay, simply move it back. Then we will go to the cameras and add a target camera. Okay, once the camera is added, you have to look through the cameras. You go to perspective and make it cameras, camera one. Okay, now you're looking through the camera. In the left view, you can move the camera up and then there's a target for the camera, you need to select the target. I'll just click on the line so both are selected, and then I can move it. So I can then just select the target and move it up. Okay, we are going to turn the show save frame on. So you will know uh, what exactly is getting rendered. Now we'll go to render setup and production. We will change it to output size will be last one HDTV and we will use 480 by 270. So it is a small area that we render for testing. Same thing with active shade. Output is HDTV and 480 by 270. And if you render this scene, uh, the other thing is uh, render viewport is camera one and we lock it. So this is what you get. Now the objects are far away. So I'm going to move my camera closer. So select the camera and move it close. Click on the line and move the camera around. Okay. <clears throat> so you have the plane, the background, the glass, and the other object. Okay. Why did this change back to scan line? We need Arnold. Oh. We didn't do this. The renderer we are going to use is Arnold for production. View to render camera one, lock it. Active shade, again, it is going to be Arnold. Lock it, render it. So now we have our two objects in the scene and they're rendering using the Arnold render. The next step is to add materials. So in you go to google.com and then you click on wood texture and you select any wood texture that you want for the ground and wall texture. And then you select any rough surface 
for the wall texture okay save those images and I'll go to the material editor so if you go to rendering material editor slate material editor I will delete what I had what we are going to do is we are going to add an Arnold material so we are going to use uh, there are two options here one is material and one is map so don't go and click on the map option but in the material option we are going to use standard surface okay so we need one two and three okay so double click on the first one we will call this glass the second one double click on it we will call it floor double click on the third one and we will call it wall okay so we have three objects we'll select the this one control select this and then we'll assign the glass material to these two we'll assign the wall to this one and we'll assign floor to this one okay so if you zoom in the base color you'll drag the base color general bitmap and I'm using the wall material okay and then you have to right click and say show shaded material in viewport okay then we'll do the same thing for the floor you drag this general bitmap and we'll use the floor and show shaded material so there is our floor now the floor uh, we can add a UVW map to it okay and then we will tile it two times We can move the gizmo so the line doesn't come in the middle. All right. Then we'll tile this two times also. Okay. So it just makes the texture map uh, a little small. So you see more grains for the wood. We can also go to the gizmo and move it this way so that that line is not bothering us it's too dark here all right so that is our basic setup we will render it and you can see now you have wood your wall and these two materials now we need to convert them to glass okay so the first thing we are going to do is double click on glass and what we are going to do is there has to be no color okay so make sure you are modifying your glass and the base color has to be zero let us uh, keep the render active render on so you can see whatever changes you make And then the IOR is index of refraction. That is what the glass material becomes glass. Uh, changes. Are not reflecting. We will go to the ah, this production. We need active shade. So that's why it was not updating. Okay, so you make sure that you are in active shade mode. Uh, 
Arnold camera and then lock it and then you render it. So the base color is 0, index of refraction is 1.5 and transmission is 1. And once you do that, your objects look like glass. Okay. Now one more thing you need to do is select the object and add Arnold properties uh, modifier and under general we are going to remove the opaque option and that is going to further add to the glassiness of the object.